Hello everyone, my name is Carly from CJ Plants. If you are new here, welcome. In today's video, we're going to be setting up the month of July in my B6 Dology. So if this is something that you like, go ahead and keep watching. Alright guys, so I went ahead and printed out some things that I wanted on my Stology. So I went ahead and printed out a cover. This is a vellum paper. All of these I did make in Canva, so a lot of the stuff in today's video is what I made out of Canva. Um, and this is the monthly cover. And then these are the stickers that I have in my shop. Um, this is going to be for the first week of July. I just wanted to go ahead and show you. And I'm going to put the month sticker on there. And these. So everything that's here is going to be in my B6 Dology. So we're going to uh, plan for the week and decorate for the week. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and start by putting down the month first. Let me move some things around here. This is my little holder that I have here. It says Planner Girl, and it's all sparkly and pretty. Um, but we're going to go ahead and put this on here first. So I think that looks really good so let's go ahead and peel this off this is a sticker and I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the side which I already started off camera because I knew it was gonna take me a while to get it kinda of peeled off so I'm gonna go ahead and kinda of fold it a little bit so that I can get a good angle here let me put this at this there we go so I want to go ahead and put this on here so we're going to put it all the way to the edge of the paper and make sure it is nice and leveled the way that we want So when we take it out, it's going to look like that. And I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to peel the rest. All right, guys. So as I was struggling to put down this sticker, it did take me a little bit. So I went ahead and tried to speed up this process. It did take me a little while to kind of peel it this way. Um, I think it's actually easier if you peel it from the top to bottom. That way it doesn't give you any creases and the paper is kind of the backing of the paper is like not moving around because when I did it on the side it actually didn't help much. So next time if you're using sticker paper on your Stology I would probably suggest starting from the top to bottom or just gluing the paper to your planner now oh, next time i'm just gonna do it from the top to the bottom so it doesn't crease as much and now i know all right so that's what it looks like so now let's flip to the next page um we're going to do the month so here is my monthly calendar and we're gonna put that there I'm going to use my craft bond and, and just to go ahead and stick it on there I like this because it works better And it stays on there really good. Okay, so that is on there. Let's 
actually I'm gonna add a little bit to this uh, corner here. All right, so we got that part down. And let's add the second page. We just want to place it where it matches up. And then we're going to go ahead and glue it. My Stology is starting to get a little chunky. And, um,. I'm soon going to be moving over to my Hobonichi cousin after this month. So starting in August, I will be in my Hobonichi cousin and I will also be using a disc bound planner. So if you're interested in watching one of those videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you'll get um, a notification when I upload new videos because um, I'm going to be doing a bunch of different uh, styles and and planners and well it's going to be a different style for me obviously because uh, I usually plan in Nostology and I don't haven't planned in a disc bound or a A5 size. So that's going to be something new for me. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and add numbers. July sticker right here. I don't know if I should want to put it in the middle. Um, I think I'm just going to put it right here in the middle. And then we'll add some decorations there and then let's go ahead and add our numbers July started when on Saturday yes Saturday so let's do that July is a busy birthday month for me um, I have a lot of friends and family that have birthdays in July so I have a lot of gift and gift ideas that I want to give and send so I'm really excited about that um, I'm also excited about our house I am gonna go ahead and pop a picture of our family and the new house um, that way you guys can see that because I know I have been talking about it on here a lot and I want you to see um, our new home they told us that we should be moving in soon the house is almost done so I am really really excited about that and the kids are super excited to decorate their rooms and adding new things in their rooms which it's going to be in I think they're projecting they told us first it was going to be in October we we're going to move in October but now they're telling us that the house is going to be ready in September so I'm a little bit confused um, they sent us all like the papers and the stuff uh, to sign for the closing so I'm assuming it's I mean the house is almost done all we need is the grass in the front the carpet needs to be pulled put on um, and the tile and I don't think that's gonna take more than two months to be honest so I'm thinking we're gonna be moving in July or some sometime in July at least that's what I'm thinking because there's only a few things that need to be done to the home and they're working on it pretty fast we went to go visit last weekend and the trimmings on the doors were on already and they had the tile company there 
Um, so I'm thinking that the tile is most likely going to be up. Is going to be up this week and then the carpet and then the rest of whatever needs to get done. I'm assuming the grass. Oh, they do need to put cement, which I don't think there's cement yet. So that might take a little while as well. So, I mean, we're in July. And we're in the beginning of July. And I think by August, to be honest, that home is going to be done like late August. But again, it all depends. Uh, it all depends. But I am really excited. I have been decluttering my house. Um, getting things done and ready to move. I gotta go get some moving boxes. And the kids room has to still get done. I have to declutter their stuff. Right now I am in the area of the living room. And I know the kids have a lot of like toys and stuff packed away underneath the TV console. So a lot of that stuff is just going to go for donation and either donation or the garbage. It just depends if it's been used or if it's been broken. So we will see. How all that pans out all right so I am done adding the numbers I want to add some elements to the top I'm going to use some of this washi tape it's like a star washi tape I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this to the bottom of my page Just to give it a little pop of color. I'm going to do this side. Oh, this side came out a little crooked. Let's fix that. number of okay then we can add this washi tape so let's add this washi tape this looks good I'm just going to go ahead and remove some of this. Okay. So I'm going to add some of this stickers on here. Okay, that looks simple. It looks cute. And then we're good to go. Let's move on to the next page, which is the first week of of this is the first week of July and then this is the sticker that I made and I want to go ahead and add my top really good let's add the other side so I'm um, probably most likely when this video comes out 4th of July has passed so 
tell me how was your 4th of July. We didn't do much. Um, I'm actually filming this on the 7th of July. So I'm kind of behind in my planning here. And uh, we didn't do much. We went to... Uh, check on our home just to make sure that everything was up and running and everything was nice we visited a park that was nearby and the kids loved it they were so excited it's like splash pad park and they said that they really loved it. They um, got all wet. And thank God I had brought extra clothes. Because if not, that would not have been. If that, it, it wouldn't have been good. <laughs> but I brought extra clothes um, and changed them. They dried off. And they were very, very happy to know that there is a park nearby and a splash pad nearby so we said that we're gonna start making it like a little tradition to go on the weekends and just kind of have like a picnic um, they can you know get in the water and enjoy the park it's a pretty beautiful park um, we're literally five minutes in the car I think we can walk it but there's no sidewalk so we're literally like five minutes away. And the kids are really excited. My son found some friends. We're hoping that it'll be the same ones when they go to the new school, but we shall see. And then... From there, we went home, took shower, and waited for the fireworks. At 9, we actually went to the airport to go see it because my son doesn't like the, big, the bangs, like the loudness of the fireworks. And from the airport, you can see them all, like all on the bay. And they're not as loud because they're kind of far away. So he was excited to actually see them this year because he is terrified of fireworks. He is very scared of them and he was happy that he was able to see them. He said that next year he's going to try and see if he can actually like be close to one. Um, so I don't know. And the funny thing is, is that my son plays the drums and I don't know the, how the drums don't scare him, but the fireworks do, which I find that kind of funny, but I don't know. It must be just something that scares him about it. I think it was when I was actually pregnant with him he's a September baby and I was about maybe seven months pregnant I think I want to say seven months pregnant and I went about six to seven months and I went to a 4th of July event and they had fireworks and the fireworks were very loud and I was actually scared myself. And I think that he was moving a lot in my stomach at the time. And I think that is what did it for him. So I think that's why he's scared of fireworks. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put all these numbers down here so I went ahead and put the numbers on there um, now I think I want to 
Let's go ahead and decorate this so I can kind of have an idea of what is going on. Oh my god guys, so let me tell you this little blooper I made. I left it purple. So I gotta go fix this before I post this up and send this to someone in purple. So yes, I just noticed this while I was doing this. I'm like, wait a minute. There is a purple sticker there. So yes, I have to go get that changed. Um, so that's gonna be a little reminder for myself to go and change that what is wrong with me that's actually kind of funny so I have to update my sticker sheet alright so I think this is good for me here. Um, I think I want to add a little, uh, I don't know if I want to add a little gold on here or not. I'm still trying to decide if I want to add a little bit of this, just like a little, I probably would add, add a little. Some of this gold on here just to kind of give it a you know me and my pop of colors um, okay and then I want to add this sheet All right so I'm gonna go ahead and move this over and where is this? Then we're gonna add that on there, and it looks perfect. So yes, this is what my Fourth of July week spread looks like, guys. I hope you guys like the way I did my spread. If you like videos like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.